Here's my finished food web for Prince of Wales Island. And of course this is the ocean, the marine environment uh, that surrounds Prince of Wales Island. And uh, I made as many connections as I can. I checked a lot of different animals on here to see exactly what they eat, uh, just to know how everything is interconnected. And from here, the only thing I would suggest for you guys is to um, try to make, because you'll probably have a lot of arrows just as I do, try to make this as clear as you can, exactly what's happening where. Um, it can tend to get a little, uh, little wild looking. Um, just try to make sure that you have as little overlapping as possible with these arrows. Uh, like for my salmon here, I had it loop all the way around to come up to killer whale. Uh, I didn't want to run that through the middle, if possible. And it can get a little complicated, I know, but just do your best with that, all right? Otherwise, this is a nice, clean, uh, fairly easy to read food web that I know is all correct as far as showing as many connections as I can think of here and um, as much as I could find researching. And at this point, I'll go ahead and add in my last one. I'll put in one more rectangle. And uh, what I'll do here is just put my name on it, okay? And uh, make sure it's up at the top. And uh, from here, the last thing you'll do is export, okay? So when you click on export, export as a PDF. Oh, never mind. Let's not do that if it's going to ask us to charge money. Uh, i tell you what. Click on export as a JPEG. J-P-E-G. And it should go into your downloads. And from there you can just click and open it. <laughs> And uh, you can go ahead and this is what you'll submit through your Canvas assignment. Okay, so you'll attach it to your Canvas assignment and uh, submit it there. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask me, of course, in class or you can talk with people around you uh, to see who's working through it and how they're working through it. Okay, best of luck.